So you don't believe that... Lawmakers wrapped up another busy week by discussing several hot-button issues. Proposition B was, was Supporters and opponents to Proposition B packed a House hearing room as lawmakers discussed several bills which would affect the voter-approved puppy mill initiative. Members of the Ag Policy Committee looked at several proposals ranging from overturning the initiative to legislation increasing the number of female dogs a breeder can own under the Puppy Mill Cruelty Prevention Act. Despite vocal crowd support for Proposition B, several lawmakers fear it may have unintended consequences. My problem with this Prop B is the intention of the bill will harm legitimate dog breeders who have a legitimate business. After two days worth of testimony, the committee did not take any further action on any of the proposals affecting Proposition B. Unless the governor called it the Members of the House Elections Committee discussed legislation requiring a special election if there is a vacancy in the office of Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, Secretary of State, State Auditor, State Treasurer, or U.S. Senator. Following the hearing, the committee did not take any further action on the bill. Lawmakers gave initial approval to a proposal requiring drug tests for welfare recipients. The legislation requires the Department of Social Services to develop a program to drug test welfare recipients suspected of drug use. Supporters claim the proposal protects taxpayers. Taxpayers feel strongly that they do not want their hard-earned tax dollars being used to subsidize illegal activities. However, opponents argue the proposal unfairly targets a certain segment of society. There is no reason to believe that anyone in this population of people receiving temporary help is any different than the general population in terms of who uses drugs. Lawmakers approved the bill with more than 120 yes votes. The bill still needs to receive another round of approval before moving to the Senate for debate. <laughs> Speaker Steve Tilley announced the formation of two new special committees, the House Special Committee on Disability Services and the House Special Committee on Renewable Energy. Both committees are expected to begin work immediately. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.